Churchill once said, first we shape our dwellings, and then our dwellings shape us. So tonight I'd like to take you on a precarious journey with three individuals whose lives were changed, whose lives were enhanced, whose lives were transformed by the use of feng shui principles. And for the purpose of feng shui, for those of you who are not familiar with feng shui, basically feng shui is the infusion of positive energy in your surroundings to create harmony and to create balance so that it will have beneficial impact on your life. So if you've got clutter, clutter will create obstacles, it will create problems, and it will create stuckness. Now, how can I compare that? What happens when plaque builds up in an artery? It creates the constriction of blood flow. What happens when a drain gets plugged up? It creates the constriction and positive flow of water and can burst any pipe. That's the same impact clutter can have on our life. And so I would like to share with you three individual stories of individuals whose lives were impacted. One of them is my about a year and a half ago, I found myself in a downsizing situation. I was just absolutely horrified. And as I sat in my chair at home, traumatized by the impact this had, I started to surveil my entire surroundings. And I said, oh my goodness, there was a pile of papers there, there were clothes over here, there was unopened boxes over here. And I didn't realize that my life, my external life, was a reflection of my internal life. And so I had feng shui to be rescued. Instead of calling co co was it Ghostbusters, I called a feng shui consultant. <laughs> <laughs> so she came into my home and we helped to organize it. So that was my first story. My second one has to do with a friend of mine. She's a CPA, very organized, methodical, and I was flying into, she's in Michigan, and I was flying into my taxes done. And so what happened is she looked a little disgruntled, and I said, Gay, her name is Gay, this is what's wrong. She said, I have had 50 people come walking through my house, because she was in the process of selling it. She says, not a one offer. And I said, okay, do I test this feng shui thing with her? She's very analytical and everything's in its place. And she might think I might. And I said, okay, can you listen to me for a moment? And she goes, sure. She says, I'm, I'll do anything at this point. I said, would you let me take a look at your surroundings of your home and make some recommendations? I said, it's called feng shui. And she said, feng what? And I said, feng shui. She goes, when did you start swearing? <laughs> <laughs> And I said, well, it's the placement of, of, you know, it's harmony and balance and all that in your life. And she goes, but Deb, I'm organized. I said, I know that. So I walked around her home and all of a sudden, I go, ah! she goes, what? What's wrong? She goes, did you find a cobweb or something? And I said, no. In the middle of the family room, sitting on the coffee table, was this dead plant. <laughs> Okay. you got to get rid of that dead plant. And she says, well, what do you mean? I said, that's negative energy. Remember this feng shui stuff? You're supposed to be a hypothesis. That's negative energy. And she goes, you don't understand. She says, that is a, was a gift. It's an orchid. It's in its dormant stage. It's very rare and costs a lot of money. And I said, I don't care how much it costs. You have got to get this plant out of your house. So she rolled her eyes back. And much to her chagrin, she got it out of the house. I flew back on Saturday, Monday night, the next day, 6 p.m., my phone rings. And it's a teleconference. And these two women are really getting on the phone. And I'm going, I recognize Gay's voice, but he didn't recognize the other woman. And she said to me, Deb, could you please tell my real estate person about this fun, the fun, the stuff? And I go, well, sure, why? Tell me what happened. And her comment was, you're not going to believe this. 
But you know those 50 people that came walking through? She said, I moved the plan. Monday morning, I got a call, and one of the families decided to come back to take a look at my home. She said, they made an offer, and we have just signed the deal. So she, I said, so you're not going to commit me, are you? And she goes, absolutely not. And so it really changed her life. And so she went to her office because there was some stagnation in her office, and she decided she was going to feng shui her office. And she got rid of all the dead plants that were in her office, which was filled with orchids. And then my third story. I used to be a dear friend of mine. We were in contact with each other quite a bit. And I noticed that I had emailed her, and that had she never responded to my emails. So I decided to call her. She didn't respond to my telephone calls. I knew something was up. And so I sent her another email, and I said, what's going on? And all of a sudden, this is her response to me. She said, hi, Deborah. I got your voicemail. I want to get back to you. I'm down for the count. My bag went out, and I'm in much pain along with the migraine. I'm off work till early next week. I'll call you then. And I said, responded, and I said, by the way, Gail, check around your house. See if there is anything cracked. I said, even a relationship. I said, let it go. Throw it out. Give it away. Doesn't matter. Or fix it. And so she went, and she went around her house, and this was two days later. And on June the 6th of 2010, she wrote back, and she said, after we spoke on Friday, I discovered that my bedroom window was broken. And so her health problems, and sometimes her own health problems, could be a lichen to something that is stuck or cracked in our lives. And the whole purpose of feng shui is to create balance and harmony in our lives. So when we declutter our <coughs> lives, we get rid of clutter, we open up our minds, we open ourselves up to the possibilities that we can create. And it's really important to get rid of clutter. And as Albert Einstein once said, out of clutter, find simplicity. From discord, find harmony. In the middle of difficulties, find opportunities. So go out, get rid of your clutter, and you will open up and see a whole new world.